Good morning, my friends, and good morning, Zoom's friends and our members. Uh, Sunday service will be started uh, starting in next week. So this week is the last uh, Sunday that our monastic winter retreats will end. So we were back to the normal life that uh, do more service to our friends and the community. That is the normal tradition that as a monastic in a Buddhist monk that uh, nine months to serve the community and take three months for winter retreat in order that we can have more intensive meditation going on. Uh, make sure this life quality will be a little bit advanced each year, at least will be lament that kind of quality. We are not going into much, much uh, stress as the unpractitional mind. So mindfulness training is the training meditation that uh, the teaching by the Buddha himself carry on until today's or the disciple of the teachings carry on how to use mindfulness train his mind into silent and more deep of inside so that he can observe things as what from the reality try to penetrate the obstacle of the mind and try to be pull back the sensual contact that not processing into monkey mind. So grabbing to the exterior sensual that is a very normal life that we are not aware that this will be a large job running away or get lost your own self your own mind it's not makes a lot of sense for a practitioner who are very mindful so mindfulness training to be pay attention to the body into the feeling of the body into the feeling of the mind in order that he is always mindful, ardent and alert. Attention is paying to the object from the body in the mind in order that the mind and body can unite and more harmony in the right now and here. So this is called training mindfulness to make mind more calm and silent as the mind can reach the object of the body. So this is for a newcomer into Buddhism, really new for you to experience because once you aware this body, your mind already have other going on because the excited information of the mind never been purified, never have aware that I don't let the mind keep talking and don't know how to stop talking. So training mindfulness is try to be watching, not thinking. The first thing needs to be stopped means always aware and watching, but not letting processing in the thinking. Thinking means you grab 
your mind's information and process. This one is called. Once you grab your own mind and processing that, it means you will have the thinking mind. You don't have the stopping mind. So try to use mindfulness into stopping. So you need an object. What is the object in order that they don't run to many objects of the sensual and memory? So you pay attention to the object of the body. No matter you stand, you sit, you're lying down, or you are walking, always knowing the body. And even though you're knowing the breathing too, because breathing is nature of the body, nature of the life. So when you ask, keep the body still, not move at all, what is you can observe from the body to inner, then you will see that the breathing is only active, well in nature of the body. So this will be make me a lot of observation and a lot of concentration. Then I know that even though you stop the body of moving, but if you still can knowing that rising and ceasing of breath in and breath out of the breathing carry on. But we're not aware mostly people not aware if you are aware it means you your mind is united with the breathing so it won't run to sensual it won't run to the mind inside this is called use the nature of the breathing means you are here and now but you are not running into grabbing mind information become thinking into many many delusion or daydream or not there but you pay attention to the eye ear tongue body skin nose this is called sexual processing another way of go into delusion. So this is how the life mostly is come to this six senses basis. In the normal life, we don't think that is a problem, but for we come become mature age and life carry on become adult, let me become aging, then you know that kind of information is like computer key in a lot of information. It really active until you don't know how to stop. Keep talking to the mind. Yeah. Unless you use uh, the right skill to stopping it, otherwise, uh, I think for me to see a lot of people they influenced by the memory and influenced by exterior information it become very strong greedy anger jealous and so you can name the kind of negative emotion from exterior grabbing. And from interior to a lot of anxiety, you know, uh, uh, like and dislike, lots of attachment from the mind that you talk to yourself. I don't like this. I don't feel good like that. So this is called negative, uh, uh, factor or negative that kind of hindrance we need to overcome and then make your mind more into the positive applying yeah. 
So mindfulness training is try to looking for something really positive perception or positive uh, uh, contact that make this life more uh, energetic, more released like that. Okay, uh, we come to guidance a little bit uh, meditations so that you will learn for the beginner, you will learn how to use meditation in standing form or posture and how to use sitting posture to do the meditation. Let us do standing meditation for 10 minutes. Standing meditation is try to stand firmly uh, into floor or into cushion, no problem. Sitting cushion there, no problem. And then you lock your fingers and uh, drop your arms. Uh, try to release your shoulder. Drop all the hands in order that you lock your finger there. Stand still. Make yourself more ease. Grabbing all the joints, by ligaments and tendons. So make the whole body as one piece. After stillness of the body, no move at all. What you can observe and see is the breathing itself. So just be mindful to the breathing naturally. Always aware the body and the breathing. This is the only object for the mind to be attention. Burden and alert to the body and the breathing all the time. You are meditating. You are mindful to the body. Carry on like that for eight minutes.
Okay, away to the body and be mindful, slowly sit down for a sitting meditation. And you sit you like a bench, chair, or sit on the cushion. Just make yourself comfortable. Observe the body from your head and brain, mind, the whole body, observe it, relax. Back to the breathing. Mindful to the breathing all the time when you are mindful and aware. Once you do know that you are not with the breathing, then just back to the breathing and continually knowing the breathing alert and focus. Keep concentrate to the breathing for 15 minutes.
meditation practice is like going to school. You take a take a subject, <coughs> put your time and energy into it. Take many hours to process, then that knowledge will be advanced. Sitting meditation is like that. Once you schedule it for daily life activity that included meditation practice hour. No matter the short or long, carry on that kind of habitual pattern in the daily life. Then that kind of awareness and deeper the knowledge of how to meditate, that is the skill will be slowly mature. So daily life included meditation hour, very important is like you recharge the battery. Normal life, we don't do that. But we if we feel low energy, then we may drink a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, or we take cigarette. Maybe we take a cup of wine too, in order that the mind will be excited, you feel energetic. Another way that you don't need that kind of uh, uh, material input in order that you feel the mind is energetic, you are okay, you are life. It's using meditation. So using meditation to purify all this monkey mind and unconcentrated mind so that the mind will be calm and peace. Once your mind is calm and peace, not running too much, so you save the energy. You're not exalted by all this mind contact and processing. Is it I feel? Another way is that you don't need too much excited energy from the material support. You still have a lot of mind energy because of the mind is really calm, not much active, so you don't spend too much calorie. You don't need this and that excited chemical process in order that my feel strength. So strengthen mind for us that a good meditator, especially from India or the yogi, they take too much, not too much food. They are very disciplined. Why? Discipline make the life not too much of expend all the spend all the energy from the new treatment of input. One more thing for you to learn as a beginner. Not only in the uh, cushion, formerly sitting meditation, you are a good meditator. But meditation is how to put it into daily life, living training. So dynamic or bodily action, bodily conduct that perform in the daily life need to be mindful, need to be concentrate into the training. So I will say that for me, long years of training. So I process it into my footstep. When I walking, then I will pay my attention to the footstep. So the footstep touching to the floor, I will be aware of it so that you don't let the mind going on when you walk in that the mind keep thinking, you know, or keep watching 
exterior here and there. Keep listening. You don't let it. Listen, you listen to the footstep. Uh, you're watching, you're watching to the footstep so that you're away from the sensual. The head is your sensual. You're away from it and you're away from the mind contact. So the brain is not processing but watching. So keep watching the footstep. And then watching your palm. When you are moving your palm, you try to watch it. You see? Try to calm down. Why the finger move? Because the mind already changed perception. Then your finger will move. So you try to observe the calmness of the body, the stillness of the body. Once you move, then you know, ah, I'm moving. I away. So away to touching by hand, touching by buttock, touching by footstep in action. So you are aware that you are concentrate, you have an object for the mind. What is the object? Your body. So that will make the body and mind unite together in harmony. This is called spirit of meditation. So process into uh, like that, then maybe cover in the kitchen. Even though cover in the bathroom, when you take shower. So I take shower, I don't sing a song like that, make my mind going on like that. But you're aware, uh, touching the body, you're aware a little bit, so that you are really alert there. You know, we still carry on the process of meditation in the daily life until you come back to the working hour so working is not communicating you are working alone you still can put a lot of mindfulness into the working so don't let your mind go to stressful but make your mind go to more concentrate into away so the awareness training is like that so the buddha himself our original teacher he don't call himself a super guy but he called himself after the practice of majoring he enlightened to free his mind get mind free experience totally so he called himself i'm awakened so it means the the mindfulness turn into pay away. So only away there. That kind of awareness take all his hindrance mind away, turn it into awareness. So I may say to myself, if that is possible, that when I do my driving, I try my drive my car so that how can I meditate when I drive my car, you know, then I will look for if I can await his body, then let my driving that time, I away my body turn into the body of the car. So the awareness will turning me cower into the car as the awareness be mindful so that I will mindful touching to the steering. Usually it's touching this. I don't touch my hand like this. Mm -hmm. Some of them, they touch the hand one like this, like that. That is not formal one. It is a very formal one. It just touch to two sides because you, that is the safe way to drive. So you hold it, something you get lost, get loose that, and hold it back by mindful like that. So then you watch to the mirror, then you watch it carefully, you watch it carefully, you watch it side carefully. So you process the mindfulness training into driving. So you make yourself really safe because you are paying attention to everything. 
this body already extend to the body of the car. So that is my pattern. I tried that pattern in the driving. Uh, all this is a sharing. If you think this is make sense to you, please uh, use it for your skill of training. Once this skill become mature, it will cover maybe it's a big or, or short circle. We call that the current is not run into into the wire, so you don't have power from time to time. That is called mindfulness, not mind. But when the training going on, then it will cover most the time and space for you link it into the path. So mindfulness training for mindful come to concentrate, then it's a link join in to seal up, not let the mind unpleasant to be aware. This is called mindfulness training from concentration to turn it into inside. Inside means ah, you are present right now and here. Everything that is not missed by the way of the mind. This is what mindfulness can make you release. Mindfulness can make the mind release. So Buddhism talk about detachment. How can detachment form in the mind that you are not grabbing, but you are letting go? That is need a lot of right mindfulness and need very strong awareness in order that you are know the mind how stubborn he grab something, not let go. But when you can observe that name and form in the mind of grabbing, then you can easily the let go. Enough.